example. Today I'm going to show you how to make a custom character creator. Okay, so let's get started. Actually, first I just made the design so I won't take any much time. And uh, let's go ahead and re remove these scripts. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do is, first we're just going to make folders for the hats shirts and pants let me just name them correctly pants 1 pants 2 and pants 3 okay so after this we're gonna make a script to to insert values into the player so we know which hat did the user pick or which shirt or which pants Look, so this is basically the script which I created uh, like three minutes ago so yeah I'm gonna put this on the description and now we can start so first what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a script here to change the pants or change yeah actually that's hat change the hat okay so now we're gonna have local plo player equal script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent oh whoops messed up okay now we're gonna do local hat equal player wait for child hat okay now we're gonna do we're gonna add a table local hat equal and we're gonna make a a function that puts every every hat in here in this little table here I'm gonna do it for IV in pairs game get service replicate replicated storage wait for child I'm gonna do hats I'm gonna do get children do okay well actually you can just do this for us so it's easier you can just do local hat folder equal this okay and we just put hat folder okay now from here we're just gonna do table dot insert hats v okay now from here we're gonna make a function so we know when the user clicks the left button or the right button so we're gonna do local left button equals script dot parent with child left button okay now from here we're also going to do the right button so yeah let me just do that right ahead local rb equals script dot parent wait for child right button okay so now we're going to do add a function update yeah update and we're going to do and I'm gonna make a variable saying local count equal to one. Okay. I know to for this to work you must need hats here because if there's zero like it's not gonna work. So yeah, okay. Now we're gonna do lb dot mouse button one down connect function and we're gonna do if count bigger than one then count equal count minus one update and we change this to yeah okay I'm gonna do right button the mouse button one down connect function and I'm gonna do uh, let's see if count bigger or equal to the 
the items that are placed in the table then else count equal count plus one update now for that update I'm gonna do script that parent wait for child hat name dot text equal hats count that name okay now I'm gonna do add the value equal hats count okay so this is pretty much it and I'm gonna copy this put in the shirt yep and I'm just gonna change the name here to shirt and here to shirts okay and also the same thing for pants do this here pants and pants okay now we add a uh, we're gonna copy this I just create a uh, this character is starting character and I'm gonna put put it on replicate storage and what I did is I just let me do it again copy the base plate and paste it on replicated storage okay and also with this and in the best place you just go transparency to one and that's basically just the base holder of the character because this is going to be placed in the current camera where nothing is holding it so yeah okay now we're just going to add yeah let me see okay we're going to add a local script local character equal game get service replicated store storage wait for child custom character and we do clone okay so after this now uh, we're just gonna copy also copy the base plate so sorry about that local base equal game let me just copy this yep put it here and change the name of this to base plate base plate okay I'm gonna do base dot parent equal camera and now we're just gonna add a little variable to check for little function for to check when the camera loaded so we're gonna do repeat wait until game that works with that current camera okay we're gonna do local camera equal game that works with that current camera so I'm gonna do the same thing character that parent equal camera okay now we're gonna make the variable of player so we know the hat the the has and shirt and pants of player chose so we're gonna do local player equal game dot player dot local player and we're gonna do local hat equal player wait for chat wait for child hat and I'm just gonna copy and paste this to three okay I'm gonna change the name of this to shirt pants whoops pants okay we're gonna do the same thing here shirt and also here okay now we're gonna do function update we do had that chain connect oh, oh not there sorry <laughs> we do had that changed connect function update I'm gonna do the same thing for shirt that changed function 
update and also for the pants whoops did something wrong <laughs> connect function update pants.chain connect function update okay and from here we just do for for IV in pairs character get children do if V is a hat or V is a pants or V is a shirt then V remove and now here I'm going to do add the value clone the parent equal character shirt that value clone the parent equal character and same thing for the pants okay so that's pretty much it so oh, whoops let's test it let's test what we got so far okay so as you can see the the hat changes the pants right there yeah I've only put three items for each so yeah okay now for the play button I'm just gonna do with it. okay is this one and I'm gonna do function actually I'm just gonna go here and I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna do and okay I'm gonna do local PLR okay okay Pip dot parent let me just see real quick okay script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent Okay. Local hat equal pillow weight for child hat. Local shirt equal pillow weight for child shirt. Local pants equal pillow weight for child pants. Okay, now I'm gonna do repeat weight until pillow the character. Do local character equal pillar the character. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is script the panda mouse button down, connect function, update, and I'm gonna do script the parent, the parent, the parent. Okay, and do remove. Okay, so this is pretty much it, and let's test it. Okay, let me just edit this character. Okay, that's good, and here we go. Thank you for watching and please let me know if you need anything or if you want me to make another video, just comment. Thanks for watching.